Video number 41, linear regression, cost, revenue, and profit. Let's take a look here at paint manufacturer has weekly fixed cost of $44,000 and $6.50 per gallon produced. The demand data is the following. Notice how the number of sales goes up as we lower the price. So this data does kind of make sense. Obviously, if you increase the price, the sales is going to go down. Now, what we're going to do here for part A, this video is going to be broken into four pieces. First part, we're going to use linear regression to find a price demand equation. So what we're going to do here now is we're going to press STAT and now we are at the uh, choice of edit, calculator, test. We are going to edit, so press enter and you're going to enter the data from L1 and L2 here. You're going to enter that data in. So if you need to press pause and do so, please enter the data. After each entry, like 18.8, you'll just press enter. Okay, and you'll go down and enter that data. Now, once you've done that, what we're going to do is we're going to calculate stat okay so press stat then you're gonna go over to calculate linear regression so you actually scroll to the right go down to linear regression AX plus BY that's your slope intercept press enter now this is our X data so we're gonna put L1 next so second one gives you L1 which is right there right above the one then comma right above the number seven second two which gives you the L2 value that's the second that's the Y value then comma we're gonna put Y1 here press variables press to the right Y variables function press enter Y1 press enter then press enter one more time now what happens here is you're gonna get the uh, if you have if you have your calculator floated to the fourth rounded to four decimal places if you need to do that press uh, you need to press mode and then go down to float and go to four and press enter this way here you get four decimals so the equation would be uh, y equals negative point zero zero five eight x plus fifty we'll go ahead and round off to the nearest whole number for the y-intercept alright so that's part one we'll talk to you later